the first reading a reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah woe to the shepherds who mislead and scatter the flock of my pasture says the Lord therefore thus says the Lord the God of Israel against the shepherds who shepherd my people you have scattered my sheep and driven them away you have not cared for them but I will take care to punish your evil deeds I myself will gather the remnant of my flock from all the lands to which I have driven them and bring them back to their meadow there they shall increase and multiply I will appoint shepherds for them who will shepherd them so that they need no longer fear and tremble and none shall be missing says the Lord behold the days are coming says the Lord when I will raise up a righteous shoot to David as king he shall reign and govern wisely he shall do what is just and right in the land in his days Judah shall be saved Israel shall dwell in security this is the name they gave him the Lord our justice the word of the Lord responsorial song the Lord is my shepherd there is nothing I shall want the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want in verdant pastures he gives me repose beside restful waters he leads me he refreshes my soul response the Lord is my shepherd there is nothing I shall want he guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil. For you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. Response The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Response The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. Response the Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The second reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have become near by the blood of Christ, for he is our peace. He who made both one and broke down the dividing wall of enmity through his flesh, abolishing the law with its commandments and legal claims, that he might create in himself one new person in place of the two, thus establishing peace, and might reconcile both with God in one body through the cross, putting that enmity to death by it. He came and preached peace to you who are far off and peace to those who were near. For through him, we both have access in one spirit to the Father. The Word of the Lord The Gospel reading, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The apostles gathered together with Jesus and reported all they had done and taught. He said to them, Come away by yourselves 
to a deserted place and rest a while. People were coming and going in great numbers, and they had no opportunity even to eat. So they went off in the boat by themselves to a deserted place. People saw them leaving, and many came to know about it. They hastened there on foot from all the towns and arrived at the place before them. When he disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, for they were like sheep without a shepherd, and he began to teach them many things. The Gospel of the Lord.